Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on intrusive features of volcanic activity. Right, so we're going to look at different intrusive features that form because of volcanic activity. The first thing you need to know though is what are intrusive features? Um, and an intrusive feature is, is simply when magma cools below the surface of, uh, of the Earth's crust, it cools really slowly and forms granite features, and these are called plutons. And so basically it's when just when the magma doesn't reach the surface, it cools within the surface, um, within the crust, and, and when it does cool, it cools really, really slowly, forms granite features, and we call these plutons. There we go, so let's wrote down what an intrusive features uh, are. Just a quick little definition for you, so you can take that down if you'd like to now. So, these pluton uh, features, how do we actually see them? How do we, how do we reveal them if we uh, be able to see them if they're in, within the, below the Earth's uh, crust, um, below the Earth's like, surface? And one of the ways you they can be revealed is because of tectonic like, uplift. And the second way is when the overlying rocks are removed because of denudation, so basically because of erosion and weathering. And then those, um, these pluton features can be revealed. Now, there's a few different pluton features that you need to know for your leaving cert geography exam. The first one is a dike. So a dike. And dikes are vertical sheets of magma force, force its way into the cracks or, or like the fissures in the layering of rocks. Okay, so I'll show you now uh, a picture and show you exa exactly what I mean by this. So here you go, here's a, uh, an image to try to explain uh, what a dike is in, in more visual sense. So it's a, it's a vertical uh, so sheet of magma that's forced its way up into like cracks within the Earth's uh, crust. And when it goes up in a vertical line, it then will cool and it'll cool really slowly. And this layer we would call uh, is a dike. The second uh, intrusive or pluton uh, feature that you can need to know for your leaving cert is sills and sills are basically when you get a horizontal sheet of magma that again forces its way in between the cracks and fissures um, of sedimentary rock and then cool really slowly and form like granite um, so dike is when it's vertical when they go straight across and when in the cracks we call them the stills they're horizontal um, and the last one that you need to know are, are batholites. So batholites. And a batholite, as you can see, is down here. So pluton are batholites. And they can be over 20 kilometers deep. And they can be up to uh, 100 kilometers within width. They always have like a dome shape. So you can see here they've got a very like dome shape. And they're very steeply sloped uh, sides. And what happens to these, how these are actually formed is when like the, the magma intrudes like within, within the crust. And since the molten uh, magma cools really, really slowly, uh, and when it solidifies, these uh, have very, very uh, large crystals and form like granite rock. And you need to know an example of a batholith, an example that you can... Uh, can learn in Ireland is the Leinster Batlet. The fourth and the last um, intrusive feature that you need to know is a, is a laccolite. So a laccolite. And here we have is the is a laccolite, and I've just drawn it here myself um, on a diagram. And what a laccolite is is again it's a dome like sh uh, sh structure. So you can see it's a dome like. Uh, structure just like the battle light. but the one thing that's different is is usually when the magma like force its way up and then it forms um, a very flat floor which you can see here so the lack of light will always have a very flat uh, floor so they'll have a dome structure with a very flat floor and what happens is the magma forces its way up between the, between the rock and the pressure uh, for, when it forced the overlying uh, strata, the overlying rock was basically it forces that to bulge up, and that's how it creates like the dome-like structure. And then what happens is the magma cools and solidifies, um, and we call this uh, intrusive feature a laccolite. 
So that's it for today's tutorial um, on intrusive features um, of volcanic activity that you need to know for your um, relieving your geography exam. If you enjoyed it, you learned something from it, can you leave me some feedback and follow us on our, t our, our social media pages. So we've got Facebook, uh, Twitter and Instagram and you can find us at Exam Revision for you. Thanks guys.